All right, that's the first time I'm going to do this. Um, doing it kind of impromptu. Uh, I decided I want to start filming like how I think a movie's going to be before I go see it, and that's going to be the intro. So I'm going to go see Bad Moms 2, Bad Moms Christmas. Uh, this is going to be the first of two movies we're going to do today. I'm going to do Bad Moms Alone, and then I'm going to do Thor later with Billy. And uh, am I excited? Yes, I actually really like the first one. Uh, I heard this one's not bad. I'm not going to, like, you know, think it's going to be one of the topper echelon masterpiece movies of all time, but I think it's going to be a decent comedy. So, I don't know, man. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be above a 5 out of 10, and I would be really surprised if it's past the 7. So, it's going to be somewhere in the 5 and five and 7 range. I'm hoping. Okay. See you guys after the intro, and for me, that's like <laughs> it's a couple hours. Bye. Hey! How's it going, guys? Um, been a while since we reviewed a movie, so we're going to review a couple movies today. Uh, so, first one I'm doing is Bad Moms Christmas. Uh, I'll be reviewing Thor later with Billy. Um, okay, so let's jump right into it. Bad Moms uh, was a movie that came out uh, two years ago or some shit. And, uh, yeah, so it was starring uh, Mila Kunis as Amy with Kristen Bell as Kiki and uh, Catherine Hahn as whatever her name is. It's something stupid. Uh, Carla. <laughs> Nothing gets Carla's. I just forgot that name. So I said it was stupid. Uh, anyways, so uh, those three, if you don't remember the first one, you haven't seen the first one, they decide that they don't want to try so hard as moms. It's kind of a ridiculous premise and kind of a stupid premise, because, I mean, whatever. It's really funny. I really like the first one. And um, mostly because not, do, like, trying to be a bad mom is usually considered neglect. But not when these guys do it. It's funny when they do it. It's not, like, normal neglect, like what what is a bad thing. Okay, you know, this is... Taking a weird path. First one was pretty good. I liked it. It's definitely a movie that I watched with my wife. It's one of those comedies. I'm not putting it in the biggest, best comedies of all time. And it's just a, it's a decent one to sit and watch. Um, you know, just kind of a casual. And that's exactly where this lays, too. So, okay, welcome to Unprofessional Movie Reviews. My name's Mark. Uh, if you don't know what Unprofessional Movie Reviews is, I, we rant. I go to a movie and I rant about it. We don't really put a lot of thought into editing. I don't write a script. We put very little effort into these because I want it to come off as if we're sitting right next, talking to you, right next to you. I usually drink a beer during it, and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to start with negatives, and then I'm going to get into my positives, and then I'm going to give you a Taylorize uh, rating between 0 and 10. Let's do this. So the premise of this movie is uh, Amy, Carla, and Kiki, or the three girls I just said, um, they're... It's going to be Christmas, and they're pushing off Christmas as being the hardest time for moms. Okay, I buy that. I mean, if you have a really good mom, the mom puts a lot of effort into it. Uh, that makes sense. All right, I buy the primates. Uh, and then the their moms show up. Okay, and their moms are all kind of nuts. <laughs> and, and that's it, and hilarity ensues. Um, first thing, I'm, as I said, I'm going to start off in negatives. And this isn't a giant negative. This is something I just notice. The directors, and it's the same directors as the first one. Uh, I'll think of their names in a second. Same two directors. It's John Lucas and Scott Moore directed the this one and the first one, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, they love... The, this movie has a flow, a very specific pattern. And it's a uh, couple scenes. This follows, like, probably the biggest negative. Sorry, I'm dribbling. Probably the biggest negative is it kind of suffers the hangover effect. And most comedy sequels do. Hey, it worked on the first one, let's do it again. This one still has jokes kind of that work on top of it. It's not a hangover too bad, but it definitely did. It follows the same thing, I'll tell you. Oh, man, there's so much pressure on parents. Yeah, why don't we just be shitty parents? Here we go. Oh, man, there's somebody who, you know, comes in and is trying to sabotage me at the same time I'm try trying to sabotage them. Oh, no. And then I put on a speech and then... It, everything works out at the end, and yeah, that's same thing that happens in this movie. Uh, instead of having Christina Applegate as the bad guy, she is in a little bit, but it's her mom who's played masterly by uh, Christine uh, Barnowski. Barnowski, 
you you see her and stuff. She's actually pretty funny. Uh, and it, yeah, so she plays her mom, and her mom's like, you know, everything has to be perfect. So as I was stating, the the biggest problem with this movie and the first one is every the pattern that I was speaking of is there's like a s heartfelt scene and then like a slow motion everybody knocks shit over scene. There's like nine of those in this. There's and that's exactly like the first one. Now we're gonna get crazy. Everyone's drinking. Everyone's gonna knock shit over. That's yeah. The, there's like four or quite a few of those, <laughs> and that's and yeah. I mean, it's kind of funny, but that's like their shtick. It's like this movie shtick, and it kind of gets old. It just okay. Now let's be rambunctious, and you know we're gonna do it at the ball, and then we're gonna do it here. And then my other biggest negative, and this. Never didn't really bug me as much in the first one, but it definitely bugs me in this one. I don't buy any of these people as human beings. Like I really don't, and not even the extras. Like I don't really think this is a normal Earth because people just do insane shit and don't go to jail. Like there's a scene where they get super drunk at like the mall, which I didn't know they had. They have drinks like in like like restaurants like Applebee's attached to the mall, but I didn't know you could just drink at a food court. That would be awesome. I would probably get in trouble there. But that's it, I would get in trouble if there was a food court uh bar at our mall. I pointed that way because it's over there. Um but in this one they don't. They kind of just like get super super rambunctious. They go and jump all over Santa and like spanking themselves on Santa and rubbing their boobs in his face and it's funny. Don't get me wrong, I'm laughing. But it's it's not reality. Like, and I, I know that I'm supposed to dispend disbelief, but come on, man. At least, like, right... It, it, makes it, it makes it less funny. Because if they constantly do that, that tells me we're not in a normal world. We're in a world where people can get away with doing that. So it takes away the shock of them doing that. I never think anyone's going to go to jail. So when they just get drunk at whatever... Sky World or whatever they call the place and then just knock everything over. I'm like, they just did that at the mall. No one's going to go to jail. What? This isn't... This takes it takes away the shock of the, the scene. Um, and yeah, they do that again. So, all right. So, negative so far. It's ridiculous and not in the fun, ridiculous way. I don't buy any of these people and I'm getting really sick of the uh, cinematographer cliche. Also, especially... Talking about not believing that any of these people are real people, um, Kiki, who's my favorite person because she's played by my favorite actress uh, in this, which is Kristen Bell, I would leave my wife on, like, our anniversary, like, to just hang out with Kristen Bell. I'm in love with that female. She's great. I hope she's happy with Dax Shepard, but, but I would punch him in the face just to, like, hold her hand. Uh, and her mom is played by, uh, Cheryl Hines, and I've always liked Cheryl Hines, and she goes, Cheryl Hines doesn't double down, she triples down on craziness, and that's probably, again, she probably, I noticed the, these aren't real people thing, with her character most, uh, Kiki's mom, Kristen Bell's mom, played by Cheryl Hines, she's batshit insane, like, they all kind of quirky, all the moms' moms are, like, quirky, but, no, man, Cheryl Hines is fucking nuts in this. Like, like, yeah, there's some scenes, I'm not gonna ruin them, but I'm like, that's really funny and creepy. Like, if I was that person's husband, I would, I would call the cops. I would. <laughs> and that's, again, that's, it's, it's kind of, they, they push the humor just a little bit too far. Um, I think I'm getting to the, the end of Negatives. I mean, it's the jokes land when they want to. It's super raunchy, but I don't know. It's it's definitely there's a really big cliche too. And now I'm gonna end the negatives after this. There's a pretty big cliche, you know, where like you'll see things on like Scrubs episodes and other kind of comedies where it starts off with like the beginning of the third act, and it's like so I messed up, and now. Now we gotta fix this. Four days later! I really hate that. Cause it and then then they do a voiceover on top of that. So I don't get to choose my emotions. They now specifically are like, oh, this is when you're sad. And Mila Kunis comes up and be like, this is a sad part from the beginning. Feel sad. And, ah, come on. I hate that shit. Uh and it just kinda knocks it down from being like <laughs> like, you know, a, a 
a up there movie that lets me feel my own feelings to like, okay, I could see that this is a lower quality comedy. Or not comedy, lower quality movie. Because it's a comedy. I, I hold everything to the same standards. I want you guys to know that. Is I know it's unfair to hold something to uh, like an Oscar winning best movie of all time, but it isn't. You're having the same tool set that the best movie of all time did. You, uh, That's why I hold them to the same standards. And uh, yeah, anyways... Let's get into the comedy, or into um, into the positives. The biggest positive, of course, is, uh, I'm forgetting her name, uh, Kristen Hall. Uh, Kristen Hall? Catherine. Catherine Hahn. There we go. Catherine Hahn is fucking hilarious. She has been funny for a very long time. She's been funny in a lot of shit. She is at her best here. She is hilarious. She steals the show over Mila Kunis. Uh, by far, Mila Kunis is fine in it. Uh, she still has that thing where everybody talks to her like she's ugly. <laughs> and I find that great because she's like one of the most gorgeous people ever. Uh, and that's really great. And, but yeah, so Han, uh, Kristen Han has this really beautiful moment with a male stripper that's over waxing his balls and taint and asshole. And it was literally like a moment where I was like, Oh my god, she's falling in love. And it's with his legs are like over her shoulder because she's like waxing his taint. Oh, that's, that's comedy gold. That was so funny. And that you, you gotta give it to her for that. She's really great. And then her mom is Susan Sarandon. I always love Susan Sarandon. I'll never not love Susan Sarandon. Uh, she doesn't really have a lot to do in this movie. Um, and their conflict, there's still a conflict, definitely, but it's not played as much as the other people. Of course, Mila Kunis is, is played up the most, and Kristen Bell's is, like, the scariest one. <laughs> but, yeah, so they you don't really hate Susan Sarandon as much going out as you, you kind of hated her as much going in. It's, you know, she doesn't really have that much of a I hate you arc, which is fine. That's a good thing. Um, the rest of the cast did pretty well. Uh, Christine uh, Barnowski, or however you say her name, Mila Kunis' mom, you kind of, she jumped in as, um, she was like, kind of filled the role of Christina Applegate in this one, but just times a lot. And that's what I was saying of how they kind of mirror the same plot. But she was good. And another really big positive, Mila Kunis, uh, just, she over, I wouldn't say overacts. Overacting is something else. You know, like anytime Jeremy Irons is in something, overacting. And there's, there's nothing wrong with overacting. That's not what she does. She, she doesn't overact. She acts too good. <laughs> she's way... Her character, she's like... She gives these Oscar-level performances <laughs> in these movies. And, and I don't know what to think of it. I think it's hilarious. I don't think she's trying to go off as funny, but she just tries to be so good. And she is. And it's like, this is bad moms. You can dial it back. <laughs> um, also, uh, back on to Kristen Hahn. Her... Little her son, who's like 15, 16, or 16 or 17, however old he is, he doesn't really have any lines, just like in the first one, he doesn't really have any lines, until the end, right towards like Christmas Day, that takes place six days from Christmas of Christmas Day, he kills it. He has like three one-liners, and I was laughing my ass off. This kid has comedy timing in those three jokes. He was really funny. All right, I don't need to keep talking about bad moms. Um... Good. If you like the first one, you're going to like this one. A lot of people didn't like the first one. They're probably not going to like this one. I enjoyed it. Am I giving it a super high rating? No, because it doesn't really deserve it. But it's a, I'm giving it a positive rating because I know I'm going to watch this again with my, my wife, and we're going to laugh. It's a funny movie. It's not going to change your freaking life. And it, um, one last tiny negative. It does try to, just like how comedies and romantic comedies, where the 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 slump, the the guilt part, the part where you're supposed to feel sad, um, sap there, the sap, kind of holds it on pretty heavy, and that's probably because I'm not a sap guy. Maybe that's what I was talking about, how it's forcing you to feel emotions, and you don't just feel them naturally. That's the sap part. The sap's pretty heavy. That's probably, okay. All right, I'm done. Let's rate this bastard so I can kitty drink beer. I'm giving this uh, movie, Bad Mom's Christmas, 5.5 out of 10 sexy centers. Look at that. Look at that sexy man. 
Probably should have colored his skin. He kind of looks, I don't know, pale and gross. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, click like, subscribe, do all the internet stuff. Um, we have a bunch of videos. If you enjoy this, watch all of them. All right. Uh, have a good one, you fucking bastards.